Florida is surrounded by a whole lot of very beautiful blue water <laughs> that we spent days in with no sign of surface oil. Uh, I'm not just saying that. This really, we went, we went for several days seeing absolutely no sign whatsoever of oil uh, on the West Florida shelf. It wasn't until we got into the DeSoto Canyon area of the Panhandle that we started to see evidence of oil. We did not encounter any black masses of liquid oil. What we brought up with all of our bottles, and we put down bottles down to two miles deep all the way to the surface, and the samples came up clear. However, they had suspicious chemical signatures and sometimes particulate matter in them. We brought back approximately 130 samples, water samples to be processed by a certified laboratory. You can, as you watch this weathered oil on the surface, you can see a sheen emanating from it. And the same thing happens at depth. If you have smaller particles at depth with the same material, they also emanate a, an invisible sheen in the water. Uh, weathered oil is what many of you have seen in photographs. It often has an orangish cast to it. Uh, it uh, generally floats at the surface, but we also saw that it was suspended at depth. I'm trying to avoid the word plume because I. It's really, I don't want people to get this idea that there is a black mass of oil moving around under the sea surface. We found no evidence of that. We had uh, three crew, scientific crew from FWC, the Fish and Wildlife Commission. We had five from the College of Marine Science and one from Eckerd College. Best cleanup measure, in my opinion, is uh, to let bacteria consume it. That's happened in the past and it could happen now. It could be the reason we don't see more oil farther south.